Uh, this video is Advanced Higher Chemistry and it's going to be discussing the reactions of carboxylic acid and the reactions that lead to making carboxylic acids. Um, this is not uh, talking about the homologous series itself. If you're looking for a video because you're unsure about how to identify a carboxylic acid, I would suggest looking at the National 5 Unit 2 videos which gives you your introduction to carboxylic acid. So when it comes to making carboxylic acids, they can be made in quite a few different ways, which makes them one of the most versatile um, functional groups to make. So the first way is we can do oxidation of primary alcohols. Now remember, this process does go through an aldehyde first, which can then convert into the carboxylic acid. So it's not just one step, it's two oxidations. To do this, you can use hot copper oxide, which will go from black to a, a coppery red brown colour. You can use acidified potassium dichromate. It must be acidified, which will go from an orange to a green colour. Or you can use acidified potassium permanganate, again, must be acidified, to go, uh, which will go from a purple to a colourless colour. And as I said, this will generate aldehydes, then carboxylic acids. It's not just one conversion, it's two steps. The second route would be to take an aldehyde and oxidize it directly if you do not have a primary alcohol to start with. So you go from the aldehyde group to that carboxyl group. For this, again, you can use acidified potassium dichromate, which will go from orange to green. You can use Tollens reagent, which is uh, something you use at higher, which goes from colourless to make a silver mirror. You can use Phalanx solution, which will go from blue to red, or you can use your acidified potassium permanganate or your hot copper oxide, as shown on the previous slide. The third way of making carboxylic acids is um, taking a nitrile. Now remember, a nitrile is made um, by doing a nucleophilic substitution reaction on a haloalkane using potassium or sodium cyanide. That makes a nitrile, which is that C triple bond N group. If you add diluted aqueous acid, which is just represented by H3O plus with the AQ state symbol, you can turn it into a carboxylic acid. This mechanism is not something you need to know, you just need to know the process. It requires an acid catalyst and it must be performed in water. So as long as you write H3O plus AQ, that covers all your bases for what is needed. Another way of making a carboxylic acid is by taking a compound and breaking it apart. Um, and good examples of these are hydrolysis reactions of esters or hydrolysis reactions of amides. So the top one is an ester, your C double bond O, O group is your ester link. Hydrolysis means you're adding water. You can do acid or alkali hydrolysis um, to regenerate a carboxylic acid. And in the case of esters, you will make an alcohol. An amide is very similar to an ester, except instead of it being a carbon double bond O bonded to another oxygen, it is a carbon double bond O bonded to an NH group. You're using the exact same chemicals, water catalyzed by acid or alkali, to generate the carboxylic acid, but with amides instead of alcohols, you'll generate amines. Now we're going to look at the reactions that carboxylic acid can be involved in directly. So the first thing to remember is that carboxylic acids are acids. So as an acid, carboxylic acid can react with metals to form a salt and hydrogen gas. Remember your squeaky pop test. They can also react with metal oxides or metal hydroxides to make a salt and water. You will not see anything really happening in that reaction. There's no gas given off, um, but if you tested the pH, you would notice a change from it starting as an acid to ending up more neutral. If you react an acid with metal carbonate, you will make salt, water, and carbon dioxide. So you will see fizzing happening, that's your carbon dioxide, which you can test with lime water 
and if it goes cloudy, that does mean it's carboxyl, uh, that it's carbon dioxide. When carboxylic acids react to form these salts in all three of these reactions, the salt name is always a metal carboxylate. So if it was ethanoic acid, you would have a metal ethanoate. If it was methanoic acid, it would be metal methanoate. If it was propanoic acid, it would be a metal propanoate, etc. The second reaction is one you did in quite a lot of detail at higher, which is making esters. So it's a condensation reaction because you are making water um, and you're also making a larger molecule. It's known as a sterification or as a condensation reaction. You do need an acid catalyst, which helps push the reaction to the right hand side because it is reversible and is in equilibrium. An ester is formed when a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol to generate that ester link, that C um, double bond oxygen, and then a single bond oxygen um, functional group, and you'll make water. A very similar reaction uh, occurs between amines and carboxylic acids to make amides, which you would have seen um, when you looked at proteins at higher. Now this does occur in a slightly different step because the first process is a neutralization reaction to make the carboxylic acid salt and the amine will form an ammonium ion and you must heat it to make the amide. Um, I've never seen amides being asked in advanced tire, but there's always a first time for everything, in which case I would make sure you are aware that the first step makes a salt, which you then must heat to make the amide and also make a water molecule. Um, the final reaction you need to know with carboxylic acids is that, remember, they were made by the oxidation of alcohols, specifically primary alcohols, um, which means you can go backwards doing a reduction reaction. And all reduction reactions at advanced higher are done in unit two using lithium aluminium hydride or tetrahydride, LIALH4. And that will go straight from the carboxylic acid to the primary alcohol. You will not form the aldehyde, it will go the full way to making the alcohol. And just like when you were reducing alcohols, um, aldehydes, sorry, the lithium aluminium hydride needs to be dissolved in ether. It will not work if you dissolve it in water. So this has been a, a, an insight into how carboxylic acids can be made from other functional groups and then the reactions that carboxylic acids can themselves be involved in.